Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, your go-to channel for all things electric. In today's video, we have a special treat for you as we delve into a topic that every electric motor enthusiast should be familiar with. What causes electric motors to burn out? With over 13 years of experience as an electrical engineer, I'm here to guide you through this informative discussion. We'll explore the common reasons behind motor burnouts, discussing overvoltage, voltage drop, overloading, winding insulation damage, bad bearings, water and moisture, inadequate cooling, and incorrect duty cycles. By the end of this video, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of these factors and be equipped with knowledge to prevent motor burnouts. So, let's dive right into the fascinating world of electric motors and uncover the secrets behind their burnouts, with insights and expertise from an electrical engineer with over 13 years of experience. Get ready to expand your knowledge and ensure the longevity of your electric motors. Overvoltage one of the primary causes of electric motor burnout is overvoltage. As an electrical engineer, I can tell you that overvoltage occurs when the motor is exposed to higher voltages than it can handle. This excessive voltage can lead to the motor overheating and ultimately burn out. Overvoltage can indeed lead to motor insulation failure, which can then result in a short circuit. The excessive voltage can cause the insulation material to break down, compromising its ability to insulate the motor windings effectively. When the insulation fails, it can lead to the occurrence of short circuits within the motor, which can cause damage and ultimately contribute to motor burnout. Voltage drop In the case of voltage drop, when an electric motor doesn't receive enough voltage, it tries to compensate by drawing more current to meet the load requirements. This increased current draw puts excessive strain on the motor's components, leading to overheating and potentially resulting in burnout. When the voltage supplied to the motor decreases, the motor's ability to produce the necessary torque diminishes. To maintain the required level of performance, the motor responds by drawing higher current to compensate for the voltage drop. This increased current generates more heat within the motor's windings and other components. The excessive heat buildup caused by the higher current can quickly overwhelm the motor's cooling capabilities, leading to overheating. Prolonged operation under such conditions can cause insulation damage, accelerated wear on internal components, and eventually result in motor burnout. To prevent voltage drop-related issues, it is crucial to ensure a stable and adequate power supply for the motor. This may involve measures such as using appropriate wire sizes, minimizing long cable runs, and addressing any issues in the electrical distribution system that could lead to voltage fluctuations. Regular monitoring of voltage levels and implementing protective devices such as voltage regulators or surge protectors can also help mitigate the risk of voltage drop-induced motor burnout. Overloading Overloading is another major culprit behind electric motor burnouts. It happens when the motor is forced to operate beyond its design capacity. This can occur due to mechanical factors, such as attaching heavy loads or operating at higher speeds than recommended. Overloading leads to excessive heat buildup, damaging the motor's internal components and resulting in burnout. I need your help. Show your support and make this video a hit by smashing that like button. Your likes encourage me to bring you more electrifying content. Winding insulation damage. Additionally, winding insulation damage can also contribute to motor burnouts. The motor windings are insulated to prevent electrical shorts and ensure proper functioning. However, factors like excessive heat, overvoltage, age, or environmental conditions can deteriorate the insulation, causing short circuits and ultimately leading to burnout. Bad bearings. Bad bearings are another cause of electric motor burnouts. Bearings support the rotating shaft in the motor and ensure smooth operation. When the bearings wear out or become damaged, the motor experiences increased friction and higher current, generating excessive heat. This heat buildup, if not addressed, can lead to motor failure and burnout. Water and moisture. Water and moisture can be detrimental to electric motors. Exposure to water or high humidity levels can cause corrosion, leading to insulation breakdown and short circuits. Moisture can also accelerate the wear and tear of internal components and cause corrosion, ultimately resulting in motor burnout. When it comes to electric motors, the IP, ingress protection, rating plays a crucial role in protecting them from moisture and water ingress. The IP rating indicates the motor's level of protection against solid particles and liquids. It consists of two digits, with the first digit representing the level of protection against solid objects and the second digit indicating the level of protection against liquids. Motors with a low IP rating are more vulnerable to moisture and water ingress. They may not have adequate protection against dust, debris, or water, making them susceptible to damage. Moisture and water can corrode internal components, affect insulation, and lead to short circuits, ultimately causing motor failure or burnout. Inadequate cooling. 
inadequate cooling is a significant factor that can contribute to electric motor burnout. There are several reasons why cooling may become insufficient, including issues like a broken cooling fan, obstruction of ventilation, and the motor running at a slower speed than its rated RPM. A broken cooling fan can severely impact the motor's cooling capabilities. The fan plays a crucial role in drawing air over the motor's components, facilitating heat dissipation. If the fan is damaged or not functioning properly, the airflow will be restricted, resulting in inadequate cooling. This can lead to a temperature rise within the motor, increasing the risk of overheating and subsequent burnout. Similarly, obstructions to the motor's ventilation system can impede proper cooling. For instance, if a plastic bag or any other object blocks the ventilation openings or air intakes, it hinders the natural airflow required for effective cooling. Without proper ventilation, heat cannot dissipate efficiently, causing the motor's temperature to rise and potentially leading to burnout. Moreover, if the motor is running at a slower speed than its rated RPM, revolutions per minute, it can have an adverse impact on cooling. The rated RPM indicates the optimal operating speed at which the motor is designed to function. When the motor operates below this speed, it may not generate enough airflow to cool itself adequately. As a result, heat accumulates within the motor, increasing the risk of overheating and potential burnout. To ensure proper cooling, it is essential to address these issues promptly. If the cooling fan is broken, it should be repaired or replaced to restore proper airflow. Any obstructions, such as plastic bags or debris, should be removed from the motor's ventilation openings. Additionally, if the motor is running at a slower speed than intended, adjustments should be made to ensure it operates at the correct RPM. Regular maintenance and inspection of the motor's cooling system can help identify and resolve cooling-related issues early on. This includes checking the fan, cleaning the ventilation openings, and monitoring the motor's RPM to ensure it is operating within the recommended range. Incorrect duty cycle. Lastly, let's talk about the importance of adhering to the correct duty cycle for electric motors. Duty cycle refers to the ratio of operating time to the total time. Motors are designed to operate within specific duty cycles based on their intended applications. If the motor is constantly operated outside its recommended duty cycle, it can become overwhelmed and prone to burnout. Conclusion And there you have it. We've explored the common causes of electric motor burnout, including overvoltage, voltage drop, overloading, winding insulation damage, bad bearings, water and moisture, inadequate cooling, and incorrect duty cycles. By understanding these factors, you can take steps to prevent motor burnout and ensure the longevity of your electrical devices. Thanks for tuning in to Electricity Frenzy. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more electrifying content.